Welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a wide oak bar height dining table using our new double twist island legs from Osmond Wood Products. These are part 143658 on our website. Stay tuned for some tips and tricks and we'll be right back. Now as with all Osborne table base kits, you're going to get your legs and necessary skirt boards that have been mortise and tenon. You're also going to get corner blocks for the added support in the corners, as well as the necessary attachment hardware so you can completely assemble this kit upon arrival. We also have a custom square wide oak top that we're going to be adding onto this table. We're going to finish it with a nice Danish hole. Let's go ahead and get our top out of the way for now and we'll jump into assembling our base. Now this table base kit was custom made for the size top that we have. Now our top is a 36 by 36 inch uh, square wide oak top. We also went ahead and had just a small standard roundover added to the bottom profile of our skirt. Um, so that's going to add a nice detail. That is an option on our uh, table base builder on our website. I'll leave a link below if you want to design your own table base kit for your top. If you're interested in a more in-depth tutorial on assembling table bases, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now that we've got our skirts attached to our legs, we're gonna go ahead and install our corner blocks and then we'll be done with the table base assembly. Now that we've got our table base assembled, we're gonna go ahead and sand our top to 220 grit, and then we're just gonna wipe a Danish oil finish on top of that. We're also gonna do Danish oil on the base, and then after the oil has completely dried and cured into the wood, we'll come back and do a polyurethane on top, just to add that extra protective layer since it is gonna be used as a dining table. All right, we're just gonna add a little bit of Danish oil on the surface and just flood it out. Then we'll take a clean rag and just come back through and buff it out after it has sat on the surface for a few minutes. Once we've got the excess off, let it sit about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and flood the surface again. And we'll repeat that process until it won't absorb uh, any more Danish oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our table base finished up as well, and then we'll move on to installing our top onto our base. Now that we've finished both our top and our base, we're ready to attach them together. Now you can see that this table base kit has pocket holes for attachment into our top, but we also have other options on our website like the Z-Clips or the figure eight fasteners if you're looking for an attachment solution that allows for a little bit more wood movement. For this project, we're gonna use the installed pocket holes. Now we had this base made to have a two inch overhang on all sides, so I'm just gonna come on each corner where my legs are and measure out and just make sure that that's hitting two inches to the edge of my tabletop. Once I'm sure that my base is centered onto my top with the proper overhang, all we have to do now is take our screws and install them into the pocket holes. Now with your screws, it's gonna depend on the thickness of your top. If you have a thicker top, you may wanna go with a longer screw. If you have a thinner top, you may wanna go with a shorter screw just to ensure that you're not gonna bust through that, uh, that front side that you're gonna see. So our table is complete, we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna add a nice polyurethane coat over the top just to ensure the strength over time. I think it turned out great. I really love the way that these legs look. They have a really unique profile that I think is gonna complement a lot of spaces very well. If you're interested in learning more about the new Double Twist Island legs, I'll leave a link below as well as some other twist legs that we've released recently. If you're interested in more info on custom table base kits from Osborne, you can check that link out below to build your own custom table base depending on the size top that you need. You'll also find some information on some custom table tops from Osborne. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any ideas for future builds and we'll see you next time in the builder's video.